Alright, looks like things are narrowing down. And I got another tro- Man, I've been getting a lot of trophies. That's like the third one. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. Alright. How do you want to do this? Hmm. Actually, a second thought. I don't want to say anything. I should probably just try to hear. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Sorry about that. Is something wrong? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um... Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there uh, something you want? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, Bigby. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. You could still be here. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. That your mom? Uh huh. But where is she? Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. She's acting a little suspicious. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? How would she know anything oh, about yeah. trinkets There's but no not one glamour? Here but me. Something's not adding up. Oh, I can I can totally night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. Totally look at some more stuff. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? How much longer do you think it'll be? Hmm. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store? The butcher? The butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. 
Oh man, do I get to solve a puzzle or something? Exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break it. You don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not gonna break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please! I'm begging you! I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble! <laughs> Antique Green Leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. What? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Ruth. Why? How about because it works? That's why. I'm good enough for you? Certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while? All right, start explaining. Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Please, Greenleaf. Crane is a murderer and he's escaping. You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crime. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. Yay, more friends! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. 
Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. What are you talking about? You bow down to me. Don't think you're in my episode. payroll. You're under my so payroll. I am. I I have friends. Something like that. We'll call you. Slash employees. Oh man, so that's like three people I, I got like like jobs. I have three friends.